All right, guys, a friend of the channel, Grant, lent in his J Springs. And, uh, of course, it's going to have a long part number, but it's a BEB558SY with a caliber Y676. So I think most of you guys, if you're regular watchers of my channel, you're probably looking at this going, what the hell is this? I've never heard of this. Um, I honestly hadn't either, but um, in digging for information for it, um, I really didn't find very much information other than the fact that Seiko, um, you know, Seiko Holdings Corporation is such a massive identity, such a large uh, company that they had so many um, spin-offs or subsidiaries of the company and... Although most of the watches we see are, you know, brought through the Seiko Holdings Corporation under the label Seiko, there was a bunch of spinoffs, and there's there's a bunch of them still floating out there. There's other divisions, um, you know, but more recently, I think you're going to see, or we've all seen that they're focused under different um, categories under the Seiko name. So, but in the past, there was a, another division of Seiko Holdings Corporation called Seiko Instruments. And prior to 2009, they tried many different brands under that label. Um, J Springs was one of them. There was like a Issy Ma, Mayaki or something. There was a Apat Time. Um, I'm butchering these names. A, a Samari. Chizato or something, Alessi. Um, there's a bunch of them, so I'm butchering their names. But if you look this up, there's a bunch of spin-offs under the Seiko Instruments division of Seiko Holdings Corporation. So um, there's, I'll try to list some of them down, but if you just search it up, you're going to find probably, if you spend a little bit of time, you're going to probably find no less than maybe 10 companies that uh, were making watches under, and they were all associated with Seiko in some fashion. And you're gonna see a lot of similarities. You're gonna see a lot of uh, crossing over of um, technology and innovation and production and everything. So I think you can agree that this particular model here um, shares a lot with like the Seiko 5 series maybe. Um, it, I think it's a little dressed up. It's a little bit nicer. If you look at some of the finishing and the dial and everything, it's, it's pretty slick. You know, um, you have the applied J up top there above the printed J springs. You have the uh, framed out day date window. Um, you have the little applied gold indices around the numbers. And you have the uh, gold inner chapter there. Nice fluted outside bezel. Now the bracelet is uh, you know, a very inexpensive one. I mean, all in all, this is actually an expensive watch. So when you really think um, the best that I could find back in the day, these were selling for around $50. And of course they weren't on our radar and we totally missed out. Most of us did. Some of you guys watching this might have actually scored some of the J Springs watches. They were definitely on the affordable end of things. But you have what is kind of a 7S26 movement. Um, I'm not 100% sure if it's exactly the same, but it's definitely from that um, design, we'll say. So you uh, have a plain crown. Um, it is not a screw down crown, but you really wouldn't expect it to be on this watch. Um, it, it operates just like a 7S26 would. It's uh, not a hand wind or a hack or anything like that. You have your day day change, dual languages, and then you know the forward spin of it spins it clockwise, just like uh, a 7S or most Seiko movements. And then the speed of how you adjust it um, is about the same. So kind of makes you think that it's you know 7S26 essentially. I'm sure there might be some subtle changes in it, but you can see the bracelet is uh, you know folded over. Um, and then a simple signed, but uh, stamped clasp. So pretty, pretty standard stuff. Um, so 
manufactured by SII. That is, um, again, that goes into the Seiko Holdings Corporation and SII in uh, Ep was it uh, Epson or something like that. It's all I don't know exactly, you know, who did what or at what level everything was done. But when that says manufactured by SII, that's the Seiko Instruments or whatever. So those are all divisions of Seiko Holdings Corporation. So it was, um, just really cool. I thought I'd share with you guys. Um, Grant is looking to sell this. That's how it ended up in my possession. I, I told him I wasn't really interested in buying it. Um, but I uh, definitely would like to feature it on the channel and then offer it up if anybody's interested in something like this. I will go over the size real quick. Let's just do that. Um, I suspect it's very similar to like a, a five sports model or whatever. So I'm looking at about uh, 38.7. Um, the lug to lug looks like it's fairly short. I would have to guess probably around 40s. Wow, it's really short. If I can get it on there. Yeah, it's like 42 and a half, 40, 42.6. And then uh, thickness um, on this flat mineral crystal, or hard lex, I'm assuming, uh, is about 11 and a half. So really, really good sizes. Um, you know what, just for the heck of it, um, I'll pop it on wrist if I can get this where my... Uh, Hamilton Khaki King on this Erica's original strap, which I figured out how to put it on really easy. It's once once you like figure it out, it's it's super easy. That's such a great strap. I, I can't wait to order more of those. So here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Actually, wears really nice. If you wanted some gold bling for dirt cheap, I think uh, you could probably get this off Grant. Um, like I said, these aren't available anymore. You can't find them. They basically stopped making these back in like 2009. You know, there was probably a surplus. So for a few years after that, they were available. But you're talking, that was a while ago. So um, you don't see them pop up very often. Uh, and this one's in, it's brand new. It's never been sized, never been worn or anything. So um, let me know if you're interested. I'll put my email in the comments and I'll get you in touch with Grant or we'll figure that out. But Anyway, guys, let me know what you think on this guy. I think it's pretty dang cool myself. See you on the next vid.